My name's Leif. I need to do two things at once in five minutes. First question, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I work with Data61. The question that I was given was, what do you guys do? Um, the answer is lots. <coughs> we work within CSIRO. We have 400 PhD students. We have 1,100 staff. You might imagine if MacGyver ever decided to get a mathematics degree, I've got 1,100 of them. <laughs> now, the things we do are more or less designed to be ambitious. We work across the whole Victorian basin to work out what the genome of every piece of rice looks like and then what the market would be if we could predict it leaving the country. One project. We look across the national water basin asking how can we optimise that with an energy market and a logistics system. We look at everything from building the sensors to getting the data out, to doing the analytics, to explaining it to somebody who might not do analytics, to then driving it through into policy and beyond. Ethics, humans, they tend to be at the end of the computer and I am also an engineer and apparently we should respect humans. <laughs> <laughs> so we then said, all right, my game, our game is to ask what if. So in the other half of my talk, I thought, why don't we take an actual project we're working on and give you a little bit of a depth. So first question, hands up, who's ever read a piece of regulation? Excellent. Keep your hands up. No, no, we haven't stopped. Um, who's understood it? Excellent. Who's then explained it to somebody else? And who's explained it to someone else who's less than seven years old? Excellent work. Why would I do this? My question for you is, if we have a society built on law, built on regulation, built on legislation, what makes us think it's reasonable to take a percentage of the population and say, thanks for playing? You don't need to get it. You don't need to understand it. I've got very important persons, that's called lawyers, that can explain it for you. Yay. So we said, all right, let's, let's turn that around. What if we took the biggest data source that is created by this city and used as data. What's that source? It's legislation. Legislation is the greatest creation of government. All the other data is stuff government forces you to give. Now, if we took that and we made it digital, what could we do? Well, we'd use it just like any other data. I use data to drive my sat-nav. What if I sat nav legislation? What would it look like? Well, maybe we look at the Corporations Act and a few other of the 70 requirements for opening a cafe in Queanbeyan and we say, what do you need to do? So we did. We opened that whole legislation up and we opened what would it take to start a cafe across the road. Interesting. We said, what if we could just do it for any legislation? So we took the Australian Corpus of Regulations and Legislations and we said, fine, let's do a bunch around procurement. Let's do a bunch around starting up a business. Let's do a bunch around paywall. Why payroll? Well, payroll is actually part of legislation. And most of us like to get paid correctly. Tragically, many companies accidentally don't pay full. So the question is, well, how would you analyze that? Would you take the contracts? Anyone read their employment contract recently? No um, anyone check that payroll is exactly correct to the dollar? No, of course, of course it would be, right? So why not take computers who are really good at doing really dumb things really fast and make them read the legislation and make them say, look, thanks for your payroll, 30,000 employees, every person, every allowance, every hour, every day for the last year, hands up, who's not being paid correctly? Yeah, sure, let's do that. And so where this is going? Where's the ambition? Because that's sort of reasonably prosaic. What if we made legislation merely like Wikipedia? I look it up like Google. I use it the same way everything else works. I want to map the legislation. I want to play what if. I want to draw the dial and say, what if we do regulate that industry? What if we don't? And what if we hook that into the rest of the world? So we didn't. And so right now, we are building standards across Australia, the leading nation in this space. We're working with many other nations, because apparently they have laws too. And we thought, why not do something reasonably global that changes all regulation into something that anybody or machine could use so that anybody could build on top of it, rather than saying, better get a lawyer. Thank you.